All right. So this is my first video and I'm doing it of this Mono Price or Indio by Mono Price. And it is a uh, retro classic electric guitar with a gig bag. And that's exactly what it says on the website. So I'm going to do this real fast here. And I'm making this video because I purchased a, a Squire by Fender uh, Telecaster Bullet. And I love it. And then I started watching other videos and I found this guitar. And this guitar as of... Well, I purchased this two days ago, so today's December 1st, 2021. As of two, three days ago, actually, I purchased this, and it arrived yesterday. So it only took two days in the mail to get here. But I saw such decent and good reviews on this that I was going to use this guitar, <laughs> do a few mods and practice, you know, uh, changing out a few things on guitars, because I really want to change out a lot of this stuff, or maybe some of the things on my Squire uh, Telecaster Bullet. But... I really wanted a sunburst, which is what this one is here. So I'm going to do this real quick unboxing. And I've opened this box up one other time, uh, literally just an hour ago. The video is way too long, so I made this a lot easier. So here's the box that it comes in. And the box was uh, undamaged. Okay, so then just a little bit of cutting of some tape here. Here's the packaging, the bag, zipper function right here. Zipper works as it should. And the bag, i probably say, has about maybe three quarters of an inch. It's very soft. All right, I'm going to open this up here. i put this in my stand here so I can do this real quick. I know nobody likes to watch a long video. Okay, so it came with these two cards. One was here and one was on the bottom. Like I said, I've already opened this up, but I'm doing this to make this video a lot faster. Just these little two thank you cards. And the guitar was actually wrapped in this cloth I don't know what this is like a cheese cloth oh, cheese cloth almost and on the top here it's a rubber band with your two allen wrenches I guess one for the truss rod and one here for maybe the bridge so a little plastic container is came in but I'll leave this in here and I'm going to take this out hopefully not drop the guitar hold this up get rid of this wrenches. all right and we're still there. Okay, so we open the bag up. Take these out right here. And the guitar was in this bag, like I said, so I take it out. So you take it out of the bag. Remove this. You got your guitar here. And uh, at first glance, uh, it looks pristine. It looks great. There's a little bit of little flecks of packing whatever dust or it's not a smudge this thing is i mean beautiful i don't know how else to say how beautiful it is but it's just beautiful everything looks check out everything here go here real quick i said i want to do this a lot faster now i'm comparing this to my squire uh, by Fender Telecaster Bullet that I just picked up for at Guitar Center only one month ago, literally only 30 days ago, and it was $159. Now on the guitar website, it's only $149. So I spent uh, about $10 too much from buying it too soon. I should have waited. And if you like and subscribe, or if you want to see, you know, another cool video just to hang out to, like I like watching videos about this kind of stuff, people showing new stuff, the goods and the bads. And this one, these knobs here, smooth, smooth. On the Squire, the blue, uh, the Lake Placid blue, if any of you have that, or my knob here grinds, it's going, sounds right down here, it's scraping on something. And I'll show that on the next video. I'm gonna compare these two side by side. Finish on this is fantastic. I don't see anything, maybe a teeny tiny little fleck right here that I can't get out of the paint, but you don't even notice that. Immaculate paint job on this beautiful sunburst. And everything looks great here. And just real quick, the uh, specs on this uh, Indio by Monoprice, retro classic electric guitar. So the body is made of basswood. This is according to their website. So body, basswood, the finish, it's unlisted. Doesn't say what kind of finish, but I'm judging, I'm going to say it's a high gloss, or at least a gloss. It is shiny. 
very shiny. There's the light shining off my Ryubi. Okay, uh, the body is basswood. Finished, like I said, unlisted. The neck is listed as maple. And this is beautiful maple. This is leaps and bounds nicer than the one that's on my Squire on the bullet. But I'll show that in the next video. Okay, so the neck is maple. The scale is listed at 648 millimeters, which is 25.512 inches. So 25 and a half inch scale. Uh, the fretboard is listed as rosewood, and there are 22 frets on here. Now, just to let you know what's on the uh, Squire bullet, I'll let you know. I have have this written down for you here. The body right here, this one's Squire bullet here on the left side. The body of the Squire bullet is poplar. It's got a gloss finish. It's listed maple neck. Scale is 25 and a half. The fretboard is Indian laurel. So on the Squire by Fender, you're getting an Indian Laurel fretboard instead of a Rosewood fretboard, which is on this Indio. So it's, I guess, your opinion on which material is better for fretboards. This fretboard does look a little dry, though, as does the Telecaster that I have. But I have an issue on mine, on my Telecaster. Right up here where the net set that sits right in this here, and I'll show you on the next video what I'm talking about. I should have noticed this when I picked it up brand new from Guitar Center. I was just so excited to get it, I overlooked that, but you'll see what I'm talking about. Uh, frets 22, like I said, and on the fender 21, $159.99 for the Squire Bullet, $79 right now on the Mono Price website. I think on Amazon it's listed at $100, which is, I don't know, crazy that Amazon has it higher than the actual website by $30. Anyway, so here, if you want to take a picture, or take this, this is a comparison of the Telecaster. Anyways, looking this up and down, the front is beautiful. Here are the switches. Nice. Solid, just as good as the Squire. Maybe nicer, I, I don't know. And the knobs, smooth, no sound at all. All right, headstock here. Now on the Squire bullet, you'll know, you know it kind of goes up, comes around here, circles off here. This little beaky thing people call, or hook, whatever you want to say is, mm -hmm. It might grow on me, but my idea was actually to cut this piece off and make it look like the other. Just because I like the look of the of the actual Squire of the Telecaster Bullet. I like this look of a little bit rounded here. Might do that on another video. Mint condition on the front here. Beautiful, beautiful sunburst turning over. And this is what I'm talking about. This wood is way nicer on, on this mono price. It's hard to pick up in this light here, but the grain is more, is, oh, it's extremely and so smooth here on the neck. Here's your back, made in China. There's a number right there. Starts with the W, it looks like, W, S, M, and then you got the rest of your numbers. There's a decimal in there, a point. Tuning pegs look to be pretty similar the squire and the back here it's just as nice as the front and i checked the sides here already let me see nice and tight here on the strap holder same up here guys i'm just making this video because i'm new to playing guitars and like i said i i had a little bit of money saved up and i was I watched so many reviews that I, I bought the Squire first, even before I found this one. But if I would have found this, in all honesty, first, before I popped on that Squire bullet, I think I might have just modded this one out a little bit with, you know, changing a few things to make it sound better, which I don't really know what better is, being a new guitar player. But neither do a lot of people, and that's why I'm making this video. This is just shiny, and this is even, this is in horrible light in my garage. This thing is shining like you would not believe, and it's mint condition. I mean, the paint job is perfect on this. 
These are little flecks. <sighs> Just beautiful. So if you're on the fence about buying this, I've heard the strings are uh, probably not any good garbage, people say, but I'll try it out. I'll tune it up and I'll do another video on that. But as it sits right now, this thing is, to be quite honest, when I compare it against my Telecaster, the Squire by Fender Telecaster Bullet, I would like to say that this is <sighs> mm. <laughs> finish-wise is quite a bit better. The frets feel about the same, to be honest. They're not very sharp at all. And on my Squire, two of the frets here are actually raised a little bit, giving me a little bit of buzz. So I'm gonna have to hammer two down, glue them potentially, you know, clean them up. Obviously the finger or the fretboard is just as dry as this Indio on the Squire, but this thing is a beautiful guitar. So if you're on the fence about spending $79, do it right now, go buy it. And I had so much confidence from all the videos this would be beautiful. I got myself one here to mod out and mess with, compare it to my other Squire. That I bought a second one here, exact same one, and that's going to be my brother's Christmas present. So I hope, I hope that uh, this helps somebody out. And I'm going to do a video of this one here too. So this is box one here, and this is box two over here. I'm going to do a second video on the second one to see if lightning struck twice because. As it sits, this right now is perfect. I don't see anything wrong with this guitar at all. And for $79, you're talking about one trip to your local restaurant, one night out of dinner, two hours of eating, one hour of eating out at a restaurant, or maybe one week of your local coffee shop <laughs> expenditures and for such a fine piece of craftsmanship. It's a beauty. It is a beauty, folks. Spend that $79. Get it now while it's on sale before it goes up, before too many people find out about these guitars and they raise the price like they raise the price on everything. Get yourself one of these guitars. I'll do another review on the sound on this, and I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison on this next to the Lake Placid Blue Squire by Fender Telecaster Bullet. So I hope you like and subscribe. I have a lot of other things to do on these guitars. I'm also going to be making... <laughs> A cigar box guitar also. So got some wood here. Got some guitar box cigar cigar boxes. And I got some stuff from CB Giddy. CB Giddy, some scale sizes for the to make some of those. I've already got a ton of hardware here to start making these. So if you're like me and you want to get into guitars, you're starting out like I am. Got a bunch of cool guitar stuff here to start making some cigar box guitars. So stick with me. It's going to be a lot of fun. All right. Like and subscribe. And you guys have a great day. All right. Take it easy.